What's going on guys? Bacon Aaron in the background today. We have Division 1 gameplay. This is game number 2 of my Division 1 season. I know I said I'm going to play this whole season with live commentary gameplay. I know I said that. I know I did. And I actually recorded it with live commentary. But the thing was, I listened back to it and quite frankly it was just boring. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Zero emotion. It sounded like a video. It was brutal. It was awful. It sounded awful. I couldn't. I couldn't simply put it out there. So rather than just show the live commentary gameplay or with my live commentary, I want to talk about esports today. What I seen on Twitter, and I still can't even quite believe it. I just can't believe that this actually might happen. I heard people talk about it for years now. I know Bones on Demand's been trying to make it work, right? He's been going to meetings and whatnot, right? Bones on Demand, guy, he was around YouTuber when I started, and now he's, is he in on this early? Is he in early? Bones, you in early or what? Elliot Friedman on Twitter. Elliot Friedman. I met Elliot Friedman in Buffalo. After uh, after a Sabres game, I met him in the bar. He probably thinks I'm an idiot. Obviously, I didn't tell him who I was, but I went up. I got a picture with him. I was like, Elliot, what's going on? He's with his other commentator guy or analyst guys, whatever you want to call them. And I didn't really know their names, so I barely even said hi. Give him a little nod, and that was it. But Elliot, got a picture with Elliot. He looks smaller in person. That camera does add a couple pounds. Anyway, anyway so yeah, Elliot Friedman, he throws out the article today on 31 Thoughts. And my buddy, my good, good buddy, Elliot Friedman, saying that the NHL is talking at the Board of Governors meeting in 2016 that the NHL is looking at how to get in on the eSports tidal wave, the craze, right? They figure it's going to be a $3.5 billion business, this eSports. I know it's League of Legends. I know it's all that other stuff. But the NHL wants in on it. The NHL wants in on And these tournaments are going live now. Like League, League of Legends tournament, they go live. They sell for $46 and $61 a seat, it says in the article. Madison Square Garden sold out back-to-back -back nights at those prices. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, so even if we can bring in a few seats there with the NHL scene, not looking too bad, right? Anyway, so I'm just thinking to myself, good Lord. Where were you a few years ago? Wouldn't have mind getting in on it. Now I'm probably past my prime, right? But anyways, wouldn't mind giving it a shot. So maybe I should probably get in that EASHL. It's got to be EASHL, right? You figure that's what they would go with. You get the teams together. That's what builds the little community. That's the way it seems to work with every other game. I can't see you go. Actually, Madden goes one-on-one. Madden goes one versus one. So maybe it would work. Maybe I should be playing versus. Do I play EASHL or versus? Like where should be? Where should I be training for this? I got to get in early too. Bones is in early. I want to get in early too. Bones, I see it coming now. I see it. If Elliot's talking about it, I want in on it. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe that it's actually probably going to happen. They say they're going to start out small and then, but that's the end goal, right? Fill up the stadium. Go and watch in a state. If it ever made it that big. Obviously, League of Legends is far bigger than NHL. But what do you guys think? You guys think this is going to work or what? You guys think they'll actually pull it off? Even at a smaller scale, whatever it is, right? Do you think it's actually going to be a talked about thing? Because I'm kind of excited about it. You know what? Like, this is the first time I've been like, you know what? I'm like actually pretty excited for this franchise right now. I think I'm going to go on. I think I better go today. I think I better make my EASHL team. Going to have to hold some tryouts. The if, When I do, when I do, I'm going to make a team. I'm going to play with you guys. You guys can try out for the squad. Probably be Bacon Nation or something like that. Anyway, I'll let you know the team name next video. And we're going to hold some tryouts. And the thing is, you have to have a microphone. That's number one. You have to play game chat. Party chat ruined everything. Ruined absolutely. We need to have the communication open. That is vital to our team chemistry. That is vital to our success. And the ultimate goal is road to be an eSports e squad. That's the road, road to being bought out. Road to sponsorship, right? I don't even care. I'll be the GM. I'll be the G. I'll be the PR guy. I'll sit up in the box office. I'll just watch the games. I'll just, All right, let's go, boys. I'll pick the lineup. I'll be the coach and that's fine if, if I don't fit in I think I'll fit in for a while but hopefully we can get the squad and we're just going to take over we're going to take over EASHL I think we're going to make it I think we're probably going to make it work 
Anyway, should be fun to try. Anyway, road to esports. Road to. I can't believe you. I can't believe NHL is gonna pull off esports. Three years ago, even fo three four years ago, I would have said not a chance. This franchise, there's just no way. And now the NHL's in on it. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. I'm calling timeout right now. I'm excited about that. We got a one nothing game. This is esports right now. Look at this puck movement. Oh my gosh. You're gonna be seeing more of that in esports. Almost guaranteed. Look at Wheeler. He's roughing it up. It's feisty. It's feisty out there. Okay, 36 seconds left. Passes it back into his own zone. Not sure. Is there any way he could come back here? Let's see this game finish up. I'm working around. Killing the clock. Offensive zone right. Throw it down low. Look at that back. That net was wide open. That slow back end. Turn and rip that. Turn and rip that. Textbook defense. That's that is esports worthy defense right there. Squeeze it through, get through there. All right, winding down. He's running out of time. Nine seconds left. Eight, seven. Uh oh, play good D. Oh my gosh. Thumbs up on this video if you should have scored there. Everybody, thumbs up if you should have scored. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I want to know your opinion on eSports. Do you think I think it's going to work or what? Either way, I'm interested to watch how this unfolds. I thought the article was interesting. I can't wait to watch, see how it plays out. Hopefully you guys like this video. We'll see you guys soon. Well, that's about all I have to say about eSports today. But if you guys want to check out my last video, I attempted to pull an Ovi. Link's on the screen. All right, here we go. There's Bowman. Okay, we got John Van Riesbrook. We got Johnny V. Decent Beezer, Vander Kane. There's.